Thank you for submitting your video to Cody Golf Instructor Online. I understand your problem is slicing to the right. And what we want to do is understand, number one, what causes a slice. What causes a slice is that impact. Your club face is pointing to the right. That's due to a poor grip or a lack of hand rotation through the hitting area. What accentuates a slice is the path you swing the club on. Ultimately, the club face determines a slice. The path accentuates it. So if you're swinging the golf club um, out to end path this way, with an open club face, the ball will take off and spin to the right. If you're in to out and you have an open club face, the ball is going to take off right and keep going right. So as long as the face is wrong, the ball is still going right. So what we have to do is give you a drill that's going to help both path and club face. And it's called the closed hip and shoulder drill. If you follow it to the letter, it's going to help you out a lot. So, what is it? First of all, we're going to work on our path and our club face without a ball, then we'll take it to a ball. Please drop a club on the, on the ground so it has a slight in to out path. Match that with your feet being very close, like mine, so you have a severe in to out angle. Stay with it, you want this. Get your feet in a closed position. Get your shoulders in a closed position. If you don't get your shoulders to match your feet, you're in big trouble because it's going to go left. Your path is going to want to go left. Set your feet and shoulders up. Now you want to trace that club going back along that line and then through along that line. As you approach the golf ball, let the club face close. You should be finishing out to your target with the face down, just like this. No further. Inside, let it close, finishing out. Club face is down. When you finish properly, your forearms will be crossed. Don't be afraid to exaggerate it. What's the worst that's going to happen? You hit a drop? Hang in there. Get the feet right, get the shoulders right, trace it back inside, out, crossing the forearms, finishing out to your target. When you can do it smooth, then we can start hitting a ball. In to out, face closed. What that does for yourself is as you take the club a little inside, that'll flatten your plane out. You tend to get the club way up high, and it's real hard to get that club slotted again once you get it too above the plane. So it does a lot of things for you. When you're comfortable with the drill, set up to a golf ball. When you do set up to the golf ball, you want to set up with that same closed stance drill, right behind the left, very closed. But make sure the ball is more toward off your right foot for this drill not your left. Looks like this. Okay, so the closed hip and shoulder with the ball. Play the ball off of your right foot more. Try to get on balance. Make a few swings above the ball. Feel that in to out path. Then at about half speed, what you want to do is you want to get half speed, getting that ball to hook a good 20 yards. Looks like this. When I finished my swing, my forearms are crossed. That's what you're looking for. So practice with the shaft on the ground, in to out, closing the face along that line, and take that same feeling to the ball at 50% speed. When you can get some big hooks to the left, and here's the real key to this, once you can get some big hooks to the left, spread your feet and give it about 70%. But keep that same visual of swinging along that line with the face closing. Aim yourself now, in a full stance, aim yourself slightly to the right, about 10 or 15 yards. Golf ball now, for a regular swing. Golf ball is going to be about 4 inches inside your heel. Don't get it too far forward. Your golf swing is not good enough to play it that far forward yet. 4 inches inside the heel. Again, this is after the drill, after you've successfully seen some hooks with the drill. Now you're ready to spread your feet. Aim yourself to the right, ball four inches back, make about a 70% swing, trying to go along that line and the face closing again. Finishing with the forearms crossed. That's what closes the face. Okay? Do the drills, follow to the letter, please let me know how you make out. But concentrate on the drill, transferring it to the full swing, and be patient. Good luck.